Hey everyone, Sam the Miracle Man here. I got a request for a specific healing meditation, so we're going to dive into that one. But it's also going to be a general meditation for any healing that's with needed within us. I got a request for a pancreatitis meditation. Hopefully I'm saying pancreatitis right. I don't know. I'm just trying to pronounce it the best to my abilities. And that's the best we can do is best to our abilities. So it just reminds me of this quote from... Deepak Chopra, agree with the diagnosis, but not the prognosis, that there's infinite potentials and possibilities in this space. And what I like to say is that we live in this body. We know it the best. Others are just guessing what's best for us. But ultimately, we have to see the outside world as our tool or aids to help us. But the real healing has to be led from within us. It's like when a doctor mends a broken arm, they set that. But the body itself mends the bones, does that inner work. And all healing is inner work. There's a lot of inner work that needs to come from this. So I'm just going to dive in and see how we're going to heal this pancreatitis and all this healing from within. The best I can explain is I don't try to figure this out. I simply drop down into this space and allow the wisdom to rise out of the stillness. And this is where I help people clear that head trash. Because out of the stillness, your own wisdom arises. To see that this voice comes first, and this comes second, telling you why this is incorrect. This is always the correct voice. So you can find my site over at sandthemiracleman.com. And now I'm just going to go away, dive in, and see what wants to come through for this meditation. So we're just sitting here, relaxing. Nothing to do, nothing to accomplish. We want to let go of any rules of meditation and see that it's simply a practice, a relaxation practice. For the more we relax, the more we can soften the mind, the more we can hear our own intuitive voice, our own insights. So we want to let go of any rules on how we need to sit, breathe, hold our hands. We simply suggest closing your eyes to remove external stimulations. So when we have a diagnosis of, diagnosis of an injury within the body, whether it's pancreas, the pancreas, the kidneys, the gut, the intestines, the lungs, just realize why they're in the shape of a form of the lungs, the pancreas, the gut. It all boils down to they all come from the quantum field, if you will, from this place of zero point, where it's just quantum particles jumping around, and they create all these different forms and different objects. So we just have to bring in the quality of energy to stabilize that, to bring it back to form, if you will, to replace the diseased elements with healthy energy, if you will that we can all do this energy work, if you will. And we don't want to attach to any concepts, but unfortunately we have to use language to communicate. So any words don't, don't resonate with you, replace it with another word that does resonate with you. And don't try to logic this out. For miracles happen from the divine authority. And your perfect spirit is the divine authority. You just simply have to relax and tap into this space. Not by resistance, not by struggle, but just simply coming back into this moment. There goes the mind. Come back to where are my feet? What is the voice I hear? What sounds do I hear? What smells? And realize all your power is in this moment. It's not outside of you. As they say, you are made in the image and likeness of God. So you have the infinite potential and possibilities. And this mind filled with all of its mental garbage, this head trash, blocks your own strength, your own power. So we want to continue to relax into this space. So we want to begin to scan the body. Where does it need attention? Where does it need focus? So 
So if your lungs, your kidneys, your pancreas, your intestines, your gallbladder, your prostate, your bladder, whatever requires attention, place your focus there like you're mentally touching it with your hands. Like you can reach inside yourself and touch that item. But you're just doing that with your mind, just focusing on that particular area. And once again, you want to let go of any mental, logical things. Because once again, we're just trying to bring in the quality of energy. Since the request was for the pancreas, we will focus on that. So the pancreas is located above the stomach, if you will, in that general area below the rib cage. So we're going to focus on the general stomach area. We don't have to, if you find, if you know where it is precisely, you can focus there. But if you general generalize and just focus on the stomach, that is enough. So you have to realize you just need the quality of energy. And usually when items are inflamed, if you will, you want to bring a cooling element in. So if you're seeing the pancreas is irritated, inflamed, acting up, you just want to see this breathing, if you will. So you want to see your stomach breathing in blue cooling liquid and exhaling this warm muddy water, if you will, that it's dirty. So it's expelling all that stuff out of you. So you want to inhale blue water. Exhale dirty, muddy water with all this ailments, if you will. Breathe in that blue cooling water and exhale this muddy water. And it can be anything for you. If you're working on the lungs, you can see breathing in to your chest, not through your mouth, not through your nose, but seeing your lungs actually breathing directly into them and going through. What is that color? Is it a liquid? Is it a crystal? Is it an herb? So you want to go through any of these areas and your stomach may be, the pancreas could be a gold energy, breathing gold and exhale silver. And it's going to require a little bit of trial and error, if you will. But there's no error. It's just feedback to try a different, different quality of energy. For all light has a certain vibration, a certain property to it, along with crystals, water, heat. Like if you're feeling cold, you can breathe it, bring in some fire energy, you can bring in some sunlight. That there's no rules or rhymes in these meditations. It's about learning to relax and trusting your own instincts. What arises? So if you're dealing with Crohn's, for example, Crohn's is an autoimmune disease. So there's an element of self-criticism. So you want to start doing a self-love practice to let go of any judgment, any criticism. You can see my other videos in that realm. But you really want to see what that needs. So once again, maybe for the Crohn's, you see that's inflammated and infl inflamed. So maybe you're going to breathe in this cool green lava energy, where it's a cool lava, where it just flows in like molten rock. And it just starts to open up. It starts to pour through the intestines and expanding and opening up those blocks from the Crohn's disease. So you just want to just play with this, that you want to be your own inner alchemist. And when you're giving yourself permission to do that, to do that experiment, that you have these infinite resources within you. 
It's really about tapping into your own wisdom by relaxing, by trusting. And this works for any joint in the body as well. If you have a bad knee, breathe in to the knee, breathe out. You see the knee breathing in and breathing out this qualities. So maybe this green energy feels right to you. So you breathe in this green light and you exhale a silver light that pulls all this stuff out. So you're going to find the quality of energy to come in. But when you see it going out, what is that color? And just see the blackness, the darkness within that. That you are looking for an exact recipe. Only you know that we can only offer suggestions. But if you do this to any area for several minutes, you will notice it will start to diminish if it's pain, if the inflammation is there. That you are that divine authority to create miracles. So I'm not giving you the exact recipe for you. Because you know the way forward. And if you need help with the exact recipe, reach out to Sam. If you don't know certain for sure what you need. So we're all the one perfect spirit. If you're unable to hear this perfect spirit because your mind is screaming at you. Because it's a very loud voice from the mind. and You can't hear what is the quality that you need. Then reach out, ask for help. But the pancreas is usually like a blue energy, blue water cooling, or maybe if you like air elements, it's, it's a gold light coming in, a golden breeze, if you will. And you see the stomach actually breathing and exhaling, or the knee breathing, exhaling, or the kidneys breathing, exhaling. But this is a generic meditation. We're giving you the instructions to create the meditation for you because you live in this body. You know what is best for you. We're just offering you suggestions on what is your healing modality for you. But the mind's always looking for the quick fix outside of itself. But realize that true lasting healing happens from within you, not outside of you. Outside world is simply your tools, your aids. But ultimately, true lasting healing comes from within you. If you do a true profound healing of yourself, you won't need medication. Because unfortunately, the doctors give you medication and they expect you to stay on that for the rest of your life. Because there's, quote, no cure, unquote. To realize with miracles, the impossible becomes reality. There are miracles in the world, but it requires an absolute surrender and trust in your divine nature, your divine authority to let go, to surrender this logical, demanding mind that wants a clear cut process. Sometimes there are none. It's just about trusting your own instincts, your own gut feeling. So we're just providing the template. It's up to you to create this recipe. For you are the master of your domain. Don't allow anyone to make you better or less than themselves. For you are the ultimate master of your domain. You live in this body. You know it the best. We are simply here to remind you that you know what is best. And there's a spiritual team around everyone. And you can ask for their help, their guidance. But once again, they're, they're your tools, your aids. They cannot perform lasting, true healing without your approval, if you will, without your own perfect spirit leading the way. But we just keep relaxing, just feeling yourself at peace and trusting your insights. 
How do I breathe into this element? I'm just using breathing. You could see what tubes do I need to put into that element? So you stick a tube into your stomach and you have another tube coming out. So in the tube could this be this blue water and out the other tube is this the excess, the muddy water. But you can see breathing, tubes, anything that works for you. It could be a, mod, a magical wand with a crystal on it and you touch yourself with this wand. You wave over it, whatever works for you. Once again, let go of rules. You're creating miracles. Miracles cannot be explained by natural or scientific rules. All miracles are attributed to a divine authority. And we reassure you that you are the divine authority, your perfect spirit, your pure spirit, your true self, whatever you wish to call that. For remember, your essence was made in the image and likeness of God, or that God dwells within you as you, that you have infinite potential and possibilities. You simply have to trust and believe and have faith in you. So we're going to take all the time that you need for this practice. Five minutes, ten minutes, two minutes, three minutes. There's no rules. Whatever feels right to you. We're just giving you the template for inner healing. And reach out to Sam if you need a specific recipe. If you don't understand your recipe or you need more clarification. But realize, keep trying different vibrations of energy and that there are no mistakes. It's simply feedback. Okay, this quality of energy wasn't it. How about this energy? How about this or that? And just keep trying over and over again. Do you get that one that resonates with you? And you start creating those miracles in your life. Miracles are simply when impossible becomes reality. It's by this place of absolute surrender of the mind and trusting your own perfect spirit. Well, it's fun to be in the spiritual realms playing as your inner alchemist. Ultimately, you're here for the human experience. So we have to weave in and out between spirit and human and finding that middle way. So you want to start to come back into this moment. Maybe by feeling your legs, wiggling your toes, your fingers, and gently opening your eyes when the time feels right. But there's no rush, there's no hurry. Just come back when the time feels right to you. All right, well, I'm Sam the Miracle Man. You can find me at sandthemiracleman.com. And I offer free head trash assessments. And I talk about this, the five depths of this head trash from empty to landfill. I was in that landfill state with five incurable diseases, PTSD, panic attacks, social anxiety, that I was really lost in this nonsense. So I just want to reassure you that you are the divine authority. So wishing you much peace and sending you love, sending you blessings. Bye for now.